What is up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing another episode of my old TCGs. I've only got a couple more to show you before I've shown you every TCG I've ever made. But this one is going to be season... crap, I didn't check this beforehand. I think season 3 of Little Dudes, if not the title will be correct. Also I'm going to bring back my homemade TCG shout out of the week. This week's shout out is Tower Strikers TCG. I only found him today, although he's been uploading for a good 4 months consistently. Currently showcasing his newest TCG rainbow fight and yeah, if you can see this clip now his artwork is amazing The colors are so vibrant and they just really draw you in and um, yeah, it's fantastic art style Which you can actually see develop since the start of his channel. So um Yeah, great channel check him out link in the description But yeah little dude season 3 this is the final season of little dudes I haven't shown you guys and it's probably my least favorite. I think that's why I'm I've shown it last but um this is the most recent season of Little Dudes, Little Dudes Legends. Oh, not turn on, 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 on there. Um, and this was, it was an interesting one because although I didn't like the cards that much, it was really the first time I'd sold trading cards and almost done it as like a profession. I sold them at basically like a school fair, like a school fate day. Uh, my mum was working with the charity Oxfam at the time and uh, I was like 11 years old and I was like, yeah, I want to yeah help the charity or whatever. So. Did what I did best and sold packs of trading cards. So as you can see, uh, this is the booster packs that I sold them in. The booster packs were made quite interestingly. So it was two sheets of paper, not stuck together at all. And then basically I'd laminated the two sheets and the lamination pads stuck together at the sides and then I just kind of cut around them and it sealed the pack. Then when you want to open the pack, just chop the top of the lamination off and uh, you can get inside. So the packs here, as you can see, they're very basic. This was when I was using like no, it would have been like Microsoft Office 2007 vibes. Um, yeah, Little Dudes, the trading card game. Obviously, like I didn't, I didn't know how to do anything at this age. Um, every pack, it was cool though. I like the way I've done these packs. Uh, the way it just tells you everything on the front. 10 cards, 50 cards to collect, proceeds go to charity. And then on the back, you have the entire rules of the game um, and what you get inside. I won't read the rules because a lot of you guys should know how to play Little Dudes anyway. Um, if you haven't seen the other Little Dudes, videos there'll be links in the description as well but there are the rules and what the set consists of and then inside you open it up the lamination has kind of failed a bit over time i've had this under my bed for like years and years so you get um 10 cards inside but what was really cool is you get this little game board in every pack which was just a laminated sheet of paper folded in half you'd unfold it and then you get your winner and your loser pile which you like you know obviously you play the game and like winners go there losers and then you count at the end and her as the most winners wins. I really but, like that I put a little game board in each pack. Um, I could have, maybe if I were to develop this game again, I would have done like different versions in each pack. So there might have been like six different uh, looking game boards you could get. Um, so it's kind of like added to the collector's side. And then like I've drawn like a sad face on the loser pile, happy little dude's face logo on the winner pile. Um, and yeah, the backs of the cards I think are really cool as well. Basically, I was like, okay, I need card backs because I'm selling these cards. I'm not just playing with my friends. But, like, lining up a specifically laid out card back, like a Chaos Galaxy card, isn't going to work on my home printer because things will misalign. I won't be able to do it. So, like, how can I produce them? So, I just made, like, a really kind of rough, almost watermark of the logo and then randomly assorted them to every card. I guess if you played seriously, you could figure out which card had, like, you know, the, the that pattern on the back. Um, but every card back was pretty much different. And yeah, I think it worked really well. And it's kind of the inspiration this season of Little Dudes for the current like season of Little Dudes logos. You can obviously see like the resemblance there. Um, but yeah, so that was this version of Little Dudes. And I'll just get through every card. So there were 50 cards in the set. Unfortunately, I couldn't, I couldn't find all of them. I only have about half of them still left. Um, but this was also where like the rarity thing came in. So... Uh, there were just commons, rares, and then I believe they were called like mega rares at the time. Oh yeah, mega rare there, uh, which has now changed to dude rare, which I think is a much better name. Mega rare just sounds weird. Um, but yeah, I'll go through the cards. So, we've got little dude here. Uh, he was the first mega rare. Um, and I, I coloured them all in glitter, uh, glitter pens, which kind of looked cool. He had an ability at the time, which was if this card draws a battle, it wins. So his score was pretty much 1,010 really. And here's the new little dude, or the most recent little dude. So yeah, we then had like Fat Man and Fat Man Extreme. I couldn't really put him in a game now. I guess Fat Man's kind of too offensive, but um, yeah, I, cu I couldn't find regular Fat Man annoyingly, but there's Fat Man Extreme. 
The regular fat man was just a, you can imagine it, it's just a less fat version. But he's still pretty fat. We then had Furball. I really, I don't know why I drew these in pencil crayon. You can barely make out the cards at all. I don't know why kids bought these. Um, I can't remember how many I sold, actually. I remember I sold a lot to my brother's friends. They were, I think I was about 11 when I made this game, and they were about 7 or 8 at the time. Um, we've got Slurpee. He's another one in the current little dudes. Um, Hebble. He's got an ability. I can't remember what this was. This card isn't affected by the special powers of any card with a score of 500 or below. Uh, Dub Squib, he was a rare. Good score of 830. And if he battles a card with a green background, he automatically wins. Um, so actually, if he battled the modern day Dub Squib, he would win. We then have Chudy. I think my my younger brother designed this one. He helped out with the game, so that was one of his. I can put my brother's cards in a separate pile. Uh, I can see you. If this card wins, you can look at your opponent's deck and you pick the card you play next turn. That's really overpowered. You can just pick anything that will beat their next card and win. Um, we then have Slush, which uh, is obviously in Chaos Galaxy, but he became like bleh in um, current little dudes. And he has the same ability, though, where if this card wins a battle, you automatically win the whole game. Um, and then it also says in brackets, it is impossible for this card to win a battle, uh, which it's not really, because there are cards that change stats. But We then have Slush Stage 2, um, which is... Kind of the inspiration for Crush in uh, Little Dude's Legends. We then have Ultimate Slush, which looks virtually identical to modern Ultimate Slush. Um, same score and everything, just modern day Slush has an ability. But yeah, he was a rare, as you can tell by the glitter. We then have Colucci. This was one made by my brother too, which I actually put in Little Dude's Legends. So shout out to Eddie for designing Colucci. I remember he was a big fan favourite in the game. Um, and... The opponent's card automatically loses 150 points. So he's pretty much a 770 score card there. We're going to have Goromito. There's the modern day version of him. And if he loses, you get to pick the next card you play. I don't know where from. The, the rules were kind of vague. Uh, but we have Mordefimbimdofilisk, whose name is again the same there. Uh, we then have Footy. Uh, there was Footy and Handy. I can't remember. I think, yeah, Footy Handy was just like a load of hands. Uh, and Oh, yeah, it reads, sorry. If you have the card Handy in your deck, this card wins the round. So that's an auto win. That's better than Little Dude if you have Footy and Handy in your deck together. Yeah. Footy and Handy were OP. I think Handy had the exact same ability, but like for himself. So like if you have these two cards, it's just two auto wins. We then have Banana Boy, who's a bit random. Um, just common 220 stats. Bop, this was another one of my brothers. He was cool. He's a common with a really high score of 810. I don't know if I, I, wonder if I just made all my brother's cards common. I actually know Kaluchi was a rare. Um, this is optional. You can toss a coin, and if tails, you automatically win. But if heads, you automatically lose. That's quite a cool ability, actually. So, like, if your opponent has something higher than 810, you just go for the 50-50. I like that. I should have put that in um, Little Dude's Legends. And then the villain... The ultimate, ton and on and on and on, was the other mega rare in the set. I'm glad I managed to save the two mega rares. Um, so yeah, these two are here. This was before the days of Dark Dude. Dark Dude wasn't invented then. Um, and ton and on and on and on was the villain of Little Dudes, uh, which I think I prefer. I think Dark Dude is, is kind of a cliche, just having like the light and the dark, where it's just an unrelated villain is uh, more original. And here's the modern day ton and on and on and on. I don't know if they have the exact same amount of ons. Ton on. They do. They have the exact same amount of ons, these ton and on and on ons. Um, he was my idea. Sorry, Eddie. Cool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of my old TCGs. For this game, is interesting because I'm really not a fan of the artworks I've done for the cards, but the way the game played and the fact that I sold the packs and the way I've, I've done the packs, I actually really, really like, especially with the little kind of game mat and the uh, game rules on the back. And um, it was probably one of the funnest games I've ever made. Seeing people for the first time actually buy my cards, uh, having the proceeds go to charity was cool. And yeah, I got a lot of fun memories with this game. Um, and yeah, having my brother as a part of it was really, really nice too. 
so yeah, really enjoyed making this video actually. It wasn't I was kind of like, oh, do I do I even show this game because I'm not a fan? But yeah, I thought thought it's worth showing. Um, and I've got uh, another. I think there's two more, one or two more homemade TCGs I haven't shown you yet. But I've found a good way of carrying on the series. The idea that I'm not going to reveal yet because I'm really excited about it. But yeah, thanks for watching this. If you want to buy any packs of modern day little dudes game little dudes legends there'll be a link to the online store in the description below this can safely say the game's come a long way since uh season three um but yeah please like comment subscribe follow me on instagram at chaos galaxy tcg let me know what you think of these cards if any of them you think should be added to the modern day chaos galaxy um that'd be cool to see as well uh yeah apart from that not got much else to say but i'll see you guys see oh wait also um check out the chaos galaxy discord if you're not a member of that already I got told off by a couple of guys for not shouting out that in the last video. But yeah, nice one. See ya.